What is up guys? Welcome back to Mad DIY. It's your boy Dave. Today I'm going to show you how to change the color of the lights on your nice Splash Forge 3D printer. I guess it would help if I plugged it in. Let there be light. So you know by default when you get the printer, it comes with the nice pretty blue to reflect on your design. Looks really cool, especially if you have a dark room or so. It really stands out pretty nicely. When you get this system, it actually doesn't walk you through the process on actually changing the light, but it does come with the actual software. When you get the system, you get a thumb drive where you can if you don't plug your system in directly to your laptop, you can print directly to the thumb drive. So you place your images onto that thumb drive, plug it into your flash forge, and you print whatever you got in mind. Some people will print directly. I don't do that. If you print directly to the flash drive, it prevents any type of issues if you forget to plug your power cord in or whatever. I don't know. I just, I keep it simple. That's how I learned on a model price select mini because that's the only option you had was using the uh, flash drive. So at any rate, what you're going to need is your flash forge, a computer, and a USB cord. The USB cord comes with the system so let's get that out. Here's a nice USB cord that comes with the system so simply plug the USB into the back of your computer and plug the other end on the side of your flash forge. Flash forge only has two outlets. One outlet that will actually take the thumb drive and the other one that will take the USB cord that they provided. So just plug that one in. If you don't know which end just in case you know there's some out there that may not know you want to use that end. The one that's almost shaped like the square. Plug that one into your flash forge and the other hand plug into your computer. Now my system is going to automatically detect because I loaded the drivers. If you don't have the drivers for your flash forge on that little thumb drive that comes with your system you will notice a manual and link to download the actual drivers for the system. If you don't have the thumb drive go to the flash forge website you can just google it and just download your respective model printer that you have. From there it's going to give you a software called flash print. Completely free. Download the flash print software onto your computer and open it up. When your flash print software opens on the computer, it's going to look like this, except for you're going to get the little ad that comes with it. Kind of annoying. Mine still says Merry Christmas. It's February. I close the ad. At any rate, so your screen should look like this. So what you want to do is click tools at the very top there and click on control panel. Control panel screen to load. Look at the very bottom. You're going to see a little button, actually a long button for LED color. Click on LED color and you'll get a color selection menu that's going to pop up where you can select whichever respective color you want to turn those lights into. You can change them from any color, from black to white to yellow to green to whatever you want. You just simply select any option you want and hit OK and the lights on your flash forge will change. So it's that simple. It's that simple. I told you this video was going to be quick, short, to the point, like every other video I do. Let's go ahead and make this red. I'm going to go ahead and click the red color here and now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. There you go. Turn the lights down so you can get a better effect. I'm gonna go ahead and change the color again. I'm gonna go ahead and hit yellow, green, black, purple, red, white, brown, blue. I'm actually gonna change it to a slightly lighter shade of blue. I like that. So there you have it. You guys get the point. Make sure you subscribe. I got more cool things coming your way. More awesome 3D prints. More with Cody. More with the Retro Pi. Other cool projects coming up with the Raspberry Pi 3. Stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's your boy Dave signing out. Mad DIY. Peace.